The first card that we decided on was bring the outside in. We thought of it more as a two-way street, bringing the outside in but bringing the inside out, um, connecting with the community, connecting globally, um, preparing students for life, and e expanding the classroom to learn more from nature. The second card was put theory into practice. Um, what, what came up in our discussion was there were so many theories that trying to figure out which one to put into practice was what the challenge was. And so we didn't get too much to talk about all three of these, um, but we did talk a lot. The third one was uniting the disciplines. And um, so what we came up with those, in terms of those three, what our characteristics of our classroom would be, it would have access to the outside, it would be light and airy, it would provide collaborative space, uh, it would be comfortable, it would be flexible, but it would also have longevity so that it could change five years from now, 10 years from now, and it's still a usable space. Um, allows for physical activity, allows for making of things, creating, Connectivity, like we said, connecting with each other, connecting with people in other classrooms, connecting with the community and, and beyond. And then also we were thinking that it didn't have to be a whole large scale project all at once. We could start with smaller pilot programs that honors both teacher and learner diversity. So then what we came up with So we didn't even get to the whole school, we just got to one section. And so the way that we envisioned it is we have these four classrooms here that are all connected. And then within those, we have these smaller communities that you can um, create, you can connect some of the larger classrooms, but then also the large community area. And then um, you can connect with the environment and the environment can come in. And so we just have and then this area you can connect with the community. So, um, have more to add. Yeah, and I know I thought about this, <clears throat> excuse me, more specifically in terms of a big problem in general with education is the ninth grade, that eighth, ninth grade transition, and we've tried to do academies and we've tried to do academies. And this type of a setup really would lend itself towards an academy being able to focus and bring a number of teachers and uh, students together to focus, but then also have. Uh, outreach to the outside and outreach to the rest of the, the building. And then from the elementary perspective, this also allows space for ELL students, special ed, so that they don't have to go find another space that you can combine kids from different groups and pull them into the smaller areas. That's it.